Today we're going to give you an overview of Myox on-site chemical generators. We're going to look at the key components inside a unit and see how they're consistent throughout all of our systems. We're also going to take a look at adding salt and turning it on to see how easy it is to operate our units. This is a Rio Zuni unit, our smallest one, and we're going to walk through how it works and see all the key elements, and then we're gonna look at some other units and see how everything scales. To show you how easy it is to operate it, I'm gonna actually turn it on, and you'll see a light go off. So I turned it on, it's now gonna go through a system prime. This takes a couple minutes, it fills all the cells and all the hoses with fluid so that it can start right up whenever it needs to. Uh, so while it's doing this, I'm going to load some salt, which is the only regular interaction you need to do with the unit. So loading salt's easy. You use pretty much standard table salt. We like to use Morton's Colinox 999, but other salts will do. And all you have to do in this unit is load it into the integrated brine water tank, which the unit sits on top of. So you can see I'm pouring the salt in. And as it goes in, it gets mixed with water down below and forms a saturated brine. So what we're gonna do is go through all the parts that we'd like to have leading up to the unit in the process flow. And once we've seen that, we'll take a look at the IO of this and go through the flow path and all the components inside. A typical Myox process flow involves flowing fresh water through a softener and into a brine tank and the OSG. A solution comes out of the brine tank and is merged with fresh water in the on-site generator, passed through an electrolytic cell to produce a disinfectant chemistry. Let's take a look inside a Myox on-site chemical generator. All Myox on-site generators use the same inputs and outputs. They take in water, a saturated brine solution, and electricity. They output an electrolyzed chemistry. The only other thing that goes in or out of the system is a signal telling it when to run. In this case, it goes through this switch. Now that you've seen all the inputs and outputs, let's see what goes on inside the system. I'm going to remove this cover and show you all the parts that make up a Myox on-site generator. You can see that the water and the brine are fed in through these pumps. Most of our systems use a pressurized feed water source this unit uses a pump. The brine pump and the water pump are then merged together at this point and passed into the cell. We control the brine pump through a control system that's inside this enclosure, which also has the power supply for the cells in the system. The Myox electrolytic cells, which are the heart of any on-site generator, are located here and here. They convert a water brine mixture, which comes into this tube, to a disinfection chemistry coming out of this tube where it's passed into a storage tank for later use. What's happening inside these cells is an electrolysis process which passes a current through the water brine mixture and produces the disinfection chemistry. Now that you've seen a Rio Zuni unit, I'm gonna show you some of the cells from our other systems so you can see how the technology scales. This cell is a Rio Zuni cell which produces one pound of disinfection chemistry a day. This cell is a vault cell, which will produce up to 100 pounds of disinfection chemistry a day. And this cell is a Rio cell, which will produce up to 500 pounds of disinfection chemistry a day. We have other systems which scale up to 3,000 pounds of disinfection chemistry a day. All of them use the same technology and work the same way. Now that you've seen a few of our cells, I'm gonna show you the vault system, which contains the vault cells. And I'm gonna walk through the five key components that we saw in the Zuni, and you're gonna see how easily our on-site chemical generation technology scales. So to begin with, up on top, in here with the screen, is the electronics cabinet, which contains the power supplies and the controls. Down below is a plumbing cabinet, which we're gonna take a better look at now. Inside the vault plumbing cabinet, you have your water inlet, your brine inlet, your brine pump, and as always, the water and brine are mixed and pushed into the electrolytic cell, which then outputs our disinfection chemistry that's run out of the unit to here and to your storage tank. So as you can tell, all of our systems really do work off the same five key components. And just to demonstrate how easy it is to operate one of them, I'm gonna actually turn this one on right now. Push those two buttons and in about 30 seconds, the system will start running. 
As you've seen in this video, all Myox systems are very similar. They all have the same inputs and outputs, and they all have the same five key components. The inputs and outputs are always water, brine, electricity, and it produces a disinfection chemistry. The same five key components in every unit are a pressurized water feed source, a brine pump, a power supply, a control system, and the electrolytic cell. The combination of these components makes it very simple to service and operate our units. Operation really is as easy as plug it in, plumb it up, and turn it on. Just add salt to the brine tank and you're good to go.